everyone, it's Mayla, and today I am pleased to say that I have reached my nerdy potential. I mean, check me out, guys. Elvish, dwarfish. I've been trying to think of different ways to incorporate the Lord of the Rings, but without actually copying the costumes and doing it like a cosplay. This is something that you could wear when you go out somewhat. I tried to make it a bit fashionable. Because I didn't want to make this video too long, I've separated the projects into two separate videos. The first video will be this corset piece, and this is kind of based off of Thorn Oakenshield's front chest piece, and then with the leather on the side. Also kind of like a dragon scale. Smog, anybody? Smog. And I know what you guys are thinking. One does not simply make a scaled armor corset. It's really not as hard as you think, and I will show you some really cool tips and tricks that I learned while planning out the costume. I had a lot of fun putting this look together, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you have an awesome time with the movies. Let's get started! For this project, I will be using a black corset, and because I don't have enough money to keep on buying black corsets for all my costumes, I am actually going to use some black tulle and glue on all my details onto it. So to do this, I'm going to lay it out onto my corset, and at the border of the corset, I'm going to leave a half an inch of tulle out to be able to fold back and stitch it. For the length, I don't want it to go any farther than past my waist. And in the back, I just want it to meet up to where the grommets are. Once you're done cutting it out, it should look something like this. And now we're going to move on to Thorn Oakenshield's uh, front silver armor pieces. On a piece of paper, I have sketched out the armor pieces in the layout that I want them to be in and I just cut out the pieces and I have traced them onto some gray craft foam. And then after I have traced them all out, it should look like this. And then with some hot glue, you want to trace around it so you get that cool raised look of his armor. I'm also making the two raised bumps that you see in the middle of his armor plates and you just keep on going with this until you finish. Oh yeah! Now I just want to spray all the pieces with some silver metallic paint and I want to do about two to three even coats. Ooh, it's starting to look like armor! And now just cut them out! Now I'm going to stick my pattern to the table and on top of that I'm going to stick on some parchment paper. This is so that when we glue the pieces to the black tool it won't stick. Next, on top of the paper, you want to glue your black tool down and secure it. And you want to arrange your armor plates following your pattern. Then put a lot of glue on the back of each armor plate and firmly press it down onto the tool and wax paper. And you want to do this for all the armor pieces in the front. Now all you got to do is just gently peel it off the parchment paper and there you have it, something that you can just stitch onto your corset and take it off easily. Now we're going to move on to some leather dragon scales and for that I have bought this 100% leather trench coat from Goodwill. That was $10 you guys. And here I'm tracing a teardrop shape which is actually my dragon scale. And you are going to trace and cut out a lot of these so have patience you guys, it'll be fun. And then you might get a little tired, it's okay to take a break. And then to glue it, you want to apply it to the upper half of the scale and just place it onto the tool and pat it in place. And you want to do a first bottom layer before you move on to the second layer of scales. And this is so you get an even layering and it's just easier to work this way. When you start getting near the top, you want to start gluing the bottom of the scales so that you don't get any glue at the top of the rim of the tool in your seam allowance so that you can stitch it later. Next you want to try it on and see if you need to add any more scales somewhere. I need to add a little bit more in the back there, so I did. And then you want to put it onto your corset and pin it in place so that it doesn't move when you're stitching it down. So here I'm applying uh, some pins to the back and the front so that it doesn't move. Then you want to trim all your scales in the back so that they are parallel with your grommets. 
for the top of your corset, you just want to pull back the tool and with your scissors trim off any extra dragon scales so that you get a nice clean edge like this. Next, you want to fold the tool over onto the corset and pin it in place. This will help it not budge when you're sewing. And now taking your needle and thread, you want to make sure that your thread is doubled up. And we're just going to be doing a simple whip stitch, which is just going up and down in a diagonal motion. When you're done stitching up the edge, you want to tack it down in a few places in the front and the back. And this is so that it hugs your body tight and gives you a nice looking silhouette. And that's it, you're all finished! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it out. And if you do, hashtag me at Mailin DIY so that I can see your recreations because I would truly love to see them. And if you're new, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see all the new videos that are gonna come out. And stay tuned for part two where I show you how to make this awesome Middle Earth inspired high and low skirt. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.